Live. However, I have noticed a slight hiccup in the title. It's not Bunty, it's Ubuntu. Change that. Uh, I think we can change the thumbnail as well. Uh, Ubuntu logo. Bearing in mind I'm streaming everything I'm doing, so the first few bits are going to be totally embarrassing. Let's get the old Ubuntu logo because this is old. Into that we are downloading. Save image as. Into logo. Perfect. Change thumbnail. Should be under downloads called Ubuntu logo. PNG. Go perfect. Save. Okay. We are live. And, um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing Ubuntu 6.10 Live. So I've got VirtualBox open. Um, let's get going, shall we? That, that's settings. That's the wrong. That's the wrong virtual machine. Yeah, I've already failed. It's not even been 60 seconds and I've already failed. Right. Uh, Ubuntu 6.10. This is Ubuntu 32 bit, so we need 32 bit Linux. Oh no, Ubuntu 32 bit. EDASs, morons. Uh, recommended memory size is a gig. So that, that's perfectly doable. Create a virtual hard disk now. Yes. We're going to make our virtual box disk image. 10 gigs again, perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Right, let's go into the settings, the bits I love toying around with the most. Storage, control of IDE, what we need is Ubuntu 6.10 alternate, this is the ISO image. I couldn't get the beta edition, sadly, because I couldn't, but we are just going to have to deal with that. And do something else. Right. Ah yes. Uh, attached to bridge adapter, and then we're going to go to allow VMs. That will allow our virtual machine to communicate with the internet. So we can play around with it. Shared folders, user account, USB, make sure it's set to 1.1 because for some reason 2.0 causes the whole thing to go ape. You know what? I'm not going to cuss on stream because. Why not? Let's just get into it. Let's just let's just press the power button and get and get this over with. Okay, let's open the stream up on mobile device so I can read chat. chat, so I'll just leave that over there and build this tail. Right, English. Oh, so this is text-based mode, this isn't very fun. I'll tell you what, why don't we go into full screen mode for the rest of this? Let's do that. Full screen mode. And that way I can filter out all of this annoying crap in the background. There we go. United Kingdom, because why else? Detect keyboard layout. No, I'll just set it myself, it's a UK keyboard. Yes, UK keyboard. Detecting hardware, please wait. Loading module floppy for Linux floppy. How many floppies exist in this? I haven't got any floppies, this is a Lenovo. Retrieving modules, yeah, that's nice. 
fucking hardware. Is this going to be super slow? No, it's not. It's going to be very fast. This may take some time. That was six seconds. Host name unknown. Bin two six. Ubuntu 6.10 is invalid. Right, in that case, Ubuntu 6.10 without the space. I might like it more. That's better. Detecting hardware. Detecting module floppy for Linux floppy. Lovely. <coughs> I trick myself to death, why don't I? Yes, the VirtualBox hard disk, if we erase my primary hard drive, we would have issues. Yep, right change the disks. Yep, that looks perfectly readable. Creating some kind of trash thing, whatever it is. I, I can't tell what that's supposed to be, but it, it's doing its thing, so I'm not going to be bothered by that. Let's get more close, because I can't see the display too clearly. Is the system clock set to UTC? I don't know, is it? Well, I don't technically care, that's the loop. Choose the password for the new user. The password is... That wasn't the right password. Censored. Retrieving all utilities. Retrieving eject. Oh, it's going to take forever. Of course. It, it, it all looks fast until you get to 6% and it's stuck on 6%. <laughs> oh god. Perfect, isn't it? I'll read the hell up already. We're at 31%, not bad. It's taking forever because it's a piece of garbage. What do I expect? It's a bin to. Is my camera cracked or smudged? A little bit of debris on it, there we go. Get rid of that. Alright, oh, this is going to be the part where I'm going to be sat here doing absolutely nothing. So, check the chat. Absolutely nothing in chat because I'm a bored, unpopular individual. So, yay. In all seriousness, this is a. It's alright, I suppose. Not the beta version of Ubuntu that I would like to install, but. It, it's stuck sometimes. You, you don't usually get all, everything you want. I mean, I could leave it up to chat to decide what I do with the operating system after installing it. I mean, uh, there's many things I could probably do with Ubuntu 6.10. Right. Still taking forever to install. This is, well, shorter than Windows, because I can tell you right now, Windows takes a damn, a damn sight longer to install than Ubuntu does. Maybe I will do that one day. We'll see what takes longer to install. I think we'll do it on the HPs, uh, the two broken HPs I'm going to be fixing in the future. We'll do the Core i3 versus the Pentium. St oh, I thought I said strong language. I'm like, oh no, we can't have that. And it's storing language. Linux image generic. Presuming that's just the universal Linux image for every version of Linux ever. Perfectly reasonable. Oh god. 
God me. 93%. Almost finished. 98. I think we're almost done. Scanning the CD-ROM. There is no CD-ROM. There is a virtual CD-ROM image, which I'm just going to look at. No, I can't look at that. HTTP proxy information. Nobody cares. Literally no one. Oh, great. It's going to take another five hours. Ooh. Don't make me scream for Winston, because I will. It's going to take longer than necessary. What do I have nearby? I've got this old camera. Oh, good afternoon. Like an Englishman. I can see I've got this broken Fisher Price camera I could probably toy with whilst I'm waiting for it to install. Oh, good golly. What is this? Oh, it takes four AAAs. I'm not loaded, I don't have that much money for AAAs, but I'm, I'm happy it's not D-cells, or C-cells. I think C-cells are worse than D-cells. I'll have to check out later. Let's just go over there. Uh, I suppose I've got some other bits. My radios and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Little pens-shaped, pen-sized radios. My camcorder, my old Sony Handycam, and my other machines down on the floor which I should probably put back in the cupboard because they're taking up too much room and everything's crap everywhere. Okay, video mode modes used by the X server. Fancy. Um yeah this is 1220 by 440 you'll do fine. It's gonna take forever to install again, this is fantastic. Oh uh, hurry up. Although it's it's Linux, I can't expect it to take forever to do. Shh. Yeah, never mind. Let's see what settings we have under its file. Reset all warnings. Has this even suffered any warnings? Help devices. Like apparently, I can uh, drag and drop files onto this computer. That's quite cool. It will save me time on installing stuff, meaning I don't have to use the uh, uh, application downloader. I could just download stuff off my main machine onto this and just drag it in and install it from there. I don't know any games that are compatible with Ubuntu. If this is Windows, I could probably install The Sims or something. I don't have to drag my... Uh, <laughs> video game archive hard drive out. Same place where I dump all my ISO images. Then of course I've got the other hard drive that I'm going to be used for imaging laptop hard drives with. Possibly desktop ones too. Not sure. We'll see. I might get a NAS for that. But like, one of those NASs that you can just turn on at whatever time of day you wish and not have it on 24-7. I think that would work. That would probably work very well for what I need, but it would be a bit of a waste. Oh, I got that Dell over there. I could probably go in the trash now, even though it is quite retro. It's, it's, it's just missing too many parts. Although I could probably take the screen or the motherboard out, because all that stuff still works. It's just unusable. Or I could just sell the unit as a whole to someone who wishes to have a a Dell Inspiron 3000 from 1995? Oh god, I don't know when that machine has been. Staring at the DV6, looking like a laptop. But that's probably dead now. I should probably fire it up later today and see if it is dead. And I have to grab the soldering iron and do the whole reflow thing again for the third time in a row. I think I should probably start some kind of gaming thing. Uh, what do you guys think? Because I should be thinking uh, maybe I could play some games and maybe live stream them or just, just record them. I can probably do it easier on the computer, but if I wish to play games off from the video game consoles, I need some kind of capture card, which I'll, I'll probably consider investing in. I mean, it can't be that expensive. Not 
not going to Google it on stream, but we'll certainly Google it later. Preparing to configure evolution. Ooh, it's evolving. Lovely. So... This is my first time really installing anything live. Usually when I play around with virtual machines I install it off camera and then just toy around with it. And not even bother recording it because I thought, oh, who wants to see me installing a virtual machine? Well that's what I thought, so I figured, well why don't I go ahead and do it? So, I did. Have I got anything in my CD drive? No I don't. I could put something in there. What's the point? I've got my desktop RAM box, which I should probably put somewhere else, because uh... Only one laptop I have even takes desktop RAM, and that's my brand new Novatech machine. I think certain Alienware's took desktop RAM. What is that desktop CPUs? I'm not sure. I think the uh, the Alienware version I want takes. Um, oh, what's the socket model? It's, it's Pentium Four and Core Two Duo era. It's Socket 7 something. I can't remember. Socket, no, not Socket 7, because it's the Pentiums and K6s. I don't know, it's just a full on desktop socket for the Pentium 4 that was shipped with the Alienware D900T, or technically Clevo, it was called the Alienware M7700. The Aurora M9700 is newer because it has dual GPUs, but I can't seem to find one of those anywhere. Well, there's one in the, there's one in the states, but it'd be pretty pricey to purchase and ship over. So I just have to keep my eyes out. Maybe I should also do a review on something tiny like a Sony Veo UX or a Samsung Q1. It's one of those little tablet PCs is about the same size as a Wii U gamepad. Maybe do like a walking review. No. Is it still usable in 2020? Probably not. Probably not. I mean if this was just pre-recorded I would have cut all of this out. <laughs> but don't it's it's live, so we're going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to sit right through the entire installation process. I mean, I'd plug this camera in and see what it does, but I don't have... The, it takes... Oh, that's disgusting. Let's, let's clean that. On stream. Uh, for those curious, this is a Fisher-Price... Two... Uh, V2751... Slash... V2752. Either that or its model number is N102Z83. Z83? Could this have a Z80 processor in it? Probably not, because it has an actual GUI, so it'd probably be some kind of ARM CPU. But it takes USB. It's running voltage of 6 volts DC. It's very big, very rugged, so it's the Panasonic Toughbook of cam uh, cameras can't shoot video, so this is effectively useless, but I, I just love how chunky it is. Uh, it is screwed together with tri-bit screws, so getting this apart without my precision screwdriver set will be absolutely painful. The uh, shutter button is tiny. It has these soft rubber buttons, which are quite pleasant to type with, though I think this red button is starting to develop some kind of mould residue or some kind of growth on it, which is quite disgusting. Um, but the, I think these are either the zoom buttons or the volume triggers, I'm not sure what these ones here. These are a hard plastic, these are like PV, PVC plastic, these are very, very, very tough. I think this camera is coming apart, because it look, there's, there's an obvious seam, but I think, is this, is this maybe waterproof? Because that looks like a rubber seal all around the outside. Let's see how the uh, viewfinders work. Blurry and unusable. 
Uh, for those curious, it is a... It doesn't say what megapixel the camera is. And I'd say it's nothing, it's probably just got one of those little Nokia camera sensors in it, so it's probably no more than two or three megapixels best. Unlike my Sony Handycam, that's like 23 megapixels. It's a proper quality camcorder that is, and I'll be happy to get using it once I get the dock. So I won't have to use my phone for recording anymore. So this will be perfecto. Let's get rid of that. This is irritating. I'm probably going to end up losing viewers at this rate, just because I'm just I'm trying to entertain people, but I just can't. Cause there's nothing really to talk about. I mean, I've got these iPhone screens. Some of them are cracked. Some of them have like a tiny crack in them, but they're still they're, they're, they're maybe cracked, but they're still usable. I just don't have any phones they're compatible with. I had a bunch of batteries as well in unknown states of de uh, deadness. They could be completely stone dead. I'm just going to get rid of this toy cat. Get that out of there. What else we got? There we go. Can move around more freely now. Uh, that's that's a that's a ceramic bowl. That's not really interesting. I mean, I've got this HP. This is going to be one of my uh, repair projects very soon uh, as part of Let's Fix It because I really want to get this working. Because it's compatible with Windows 8. So having a native Windows 8 machine would be good. So I can have one dedicated to Windows 8 when I finally make the sad move and upgrade to Windows 10. Which I don't want to do because I hate Windows 10. But sadly that's the way things need to go. Or maybe just like an early version of Windows 10 or a beta. Or just something that's still supported but old. So I don't like going with the mainstream stuff. I'm probably versions for that product keys will be cheap and or free. I'll do that then. Um, yes, so... It's installing X-Cursor themes. Oh, so we can theme the mouse pointer. I think we're going to look at that. I think we are. Yeah. Menus, no, do, 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 do what you wish, just do it, just just freaking do it, just, just get it over with, I'm done. <laughs> uh, uh, I've got a PC, I've got a build, that'll be another episode of Let's Fix It, I've got an Xbox controller that needs the uh, vibration motor replaced, uh, I've got my electric screwdriver which I blew up with 12 volts by mistake, but SSD I might try to reuse somehow. I wonder what's on that Samsung hard drive thing on top of my Xbox. Don't know. Probably might not want to film going through it because it might be wiped, might be not. We don't know what it has on it and I don't really fancy showing it on camera. I've had a few instances of finding unwanted files on computers. That Novatech was a prime, a prime example. And I've never been that I've never been so happy in my life to press the empty recycle button in my life. Just no. But it did come with a bunch of useful programs installed, like uh, some kind of Nokia video player, so I can use it for my every Nokia I've got, bar the 3210s and the, no, bar the 3210 and the 3310s and all the old monochrome-based Nokia's that don't have computer connections. I think you can plug the 3210 in to a PC. The 6310i you can do that with, but I don't know. I had access to one, but I didn't take it because it was perfectly available. It was there. No one was going to use it. It was completely recycled, but I just didn't take it. So I was like, mm. and now I regret doing that. Well, life gives you lemons, and you just deal with it. Uh, we've got my Henry vacuum cleaner that doesn't do anything because I've got to shove a new f um, foam filter thingy in it, and even then it makes an awful racket, so I, I don't use it anyways. My jet engine model, 
which doesn't work anymore. My dehumidifier, no, humidifier, that also doesn't work. My fan, which is covered in dust. I think I'll clean a fan on stream as well. Because uh, at the moment I'm just trying to make regular uploads. Oh, I've got a pair of headphones here. Ew, they're all sticky and everything. That's disgusting. Ew, all the wires all sticky. This is like a cheap pair of Primark wireless headphones. I'm going to fix these. Hopefully. That is something I will plan to do in the near future. Because I don't know what one's actually broken on this. I think it's the left ear. There's a kink in the wire somewhere, so I'm going to snip the wire back and solder the speaker on. Again, but that is disgusting. Ew. Uh, see, this is this is the thing that you get when you live stream. You don't know what you'll you don't know what you'll get. <laughs> you'll find unusual things that you've never done before. So 83% gnome system tools still looking positive. I've just bashed my arm. Ow. Oh. Uh, one gigabyte Hyenix RAM DDR. Is this DDR three? It says PC three on it. I'll let you know what you guys think. Hmm. Let's have a look at what. Oh no! Oh my God! Two for the price of one. Look at that. So we got Hyenix RAM. That's not too interesting. What's this RAM? Look at. There's a random stick on the bottom. Come on, it's these stupid long nails, I should probably cut them, but at the same time I don't, because what if I need to take a Lego brick apart? Well, I can probably do that with a... If I don't know, I can't, I can't get that RAM stick out. Why don't we just take the whole tray out with the box, that'll help. It is a ProMOS Technologies 256 megabyte DDR module, so this is DDR1 RAM, this is vintage stuff. Retro. This will go in the Dell C CSX when I fix it. Because the C600, I shove both sticks of memory in, if I remember rightly. And it still doesn't work. I've still got to get a hard drive and a, a wireless LAN card and a battery for it. Aside from that, it, it boots up fine. And it does get hot. The graphics card doesn't get hot at all. It's something I should probably consider installing that little fan and just bot running a bodge wire off the CPU fan. Uh, just two sticks of one gigabyte Samsung RAM, nothing important, that will just keep a computer alive. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Samsung, one gigabyte DDR. Another one gigabyte Hyenix stick. This is probably all DDR2, DDR3 RAM. Nothing special. This is all boring stuff. What have we got in the last box? Kingston, one gigabyte RAM. Different, but still boring. Oh, it's this, another random old stick of retro RAM. It's got a sticker on it. Put that out of the packet. Uh, brick separators. Those are the good stuff. That are, I love brick separators. They work when you don't have good nails. I mean, look at this. I look like blooming Georgette from Oliver and Company with all these long claw-like nails. Uh, okay, what, what is this? This is KN2... Five six something that scratched out nine hundred three five one four o one f eight b e m eleven and that means absolutely nothing to me. Oh, DDR two five three three two fix fifty six megabytes thirty two mx sixteen one point eight volts EP. It's LPDA RAM according to the chips. Maybe I'll shove that also. No, the CSX only has one RAM slot because it's an ultrabook. 90s retro mini PC thing. It's like the IBM X... X X22? Yeah, the X22. Does it. The really small ThinkPads. <laughs> ah, yes. DDR. It's always good to have different RAM sticks separated so you don't bloom and get them all confused. Because having, <laughs> having mixed up RAM is just annoying. Like I'm about to show you in this larger box. It's my big box of RAM. Because 
it's just absolutely full of it. This is a proper RAM storage box, and I love this thing. We've got expensive Varta RAM, which is what my... Is it? No, this is the original stick that came out of my Novatech. This is the 250, this miserable 256 it was, give, it was given brand new. Uh, Samsung PC DDR, this is mostly just ancient RAM for old systems, but I'd never need to shove these in laptops, because it's only ever laptops I need RAM for, never the desktops, because if I need a desktop, I'm going to go pull out a stick and say, right, you need some uh, 256 DDR, got that. Uh, I should probably not mix them up too much, because that will probably drive me up the wall in the future, but we're just going to keep looking through them. I'm just going to look at some random stick further down. What's this? Infineon. Ooh woo, Infineon. I don't know if that's any good or not. Is that Varta again? Spectec. The hell is Spectec? That's just a weird name. That's a small speck on the window screen. <laughs> I'm not funny. What's this? Uh, the M logo. I forgot what M, what the M logo was for. I think it's Matrox? Kingston. What else we got? What's this? Oh, we're installing the Grub package. Lovely. King, oh wow! Corsair. Corsair SD RAM. Blimmin' neck. Expensive stuff. <laughs> Never really get anything by Corsair, so that's usually quite... Oh yeah, that, that's what happens to plastic when it ages, it just cracks apart, I should probably keep an eye on that in the future. But there is my RAM box full of assorted sticks of RAM. Although, the only laptop that'll ever need tower RAM is uh, the Novatech 8599, which is just a rebadged advent slash medium. When you boot into your new system, you'll be able to log in as the OEM user with the password you selected earlier. Pseudo OEM config repair. I should probably keep an eye on this because I, I think I tried installing it through OEM last time and it failed because I couldn't log into the system. So OEM I think is the username. D does does everyone think that or do you think it's root? I don't think it'll be root. I think root is more for text-based stuff. I think this is OEM as the username and my password. Right, OEM, no caps. Remember that now. OEM. No spaces either. Installation complete. Please eject the CD media if you have one. Well, it's, it's an ISO image, so VirtualBox will automatically disconnect it and chuck it aside. Sending SIG kills, all processes. Everybody run away, we're being killed. Uh, that lovely BIOS splash screen there. Grub loading, please wait. Starting up. Hey, it's, it's booting. Ha ha ha, success. Ish, but... It'll only be helpful if we can actually log in. <laughs> if it fails, I'm just going to be having to reinstall it from scratch. Oh, that'll suck. That'll really suck. Oh, I'd really love the, be the beta version, because the beta version has some really sick startup sounds. Who needs the beta version? I can just manually install those sounds later on, but obviously wait, you won't be able to... The, the main reason I wanted the beta version so you could hear the startup sounds default when I don't have to edit them. Oh. Looks like the, um, the jungle drum thing that Ubuntu has is a bit more high pitched. I don't know if that's my PC speaker doing that or the operating system. So, OEM, I think, was the username. Password was. Oh, I screwed that up. got a beige screen. Hey. It's the newer startup sounds. So from yeah, 610 to around about 10 point 10 point something because I know 10 1004 dropped the startup sound, but I added it back cuz I'm a I'm a proper hacking person. Hey, we're at the desktop. My eye. 
Oh, I think something flew into it. I'll have to watch the footage back and see if any bugs flew into my eye. Right, so we're here. This is this is it. This is the system. So first of all, I'm going to go to preferences and change the users. I think it's about me. Username. Can I change my username? Contact info. Nobody needs to know any of that. That no. That that's that's all personal. And if you think I'm gonna <coughs> get out of there. If you think I'm gonna give that information away, you're dead wrong. It's gotta be some kind of users thing. Users theme sound. Let's play around with the screensavers. The screensaver preferences are fun. Whoa, trippy. Wow, that's even more trippy than the last one. Look at that thing. What the hell is that? It's a 4D hut. 4D. 3D would be a j well, that is 3D. 3D slash jumping out of the screen. 4D is when I'm physically experiencing it, and I'm not experiencing anything except a headache. Uh, maybe that's what it does. It's headache inducing. What the hell? Are those ants? Ants inside wiry balls. Hello, Ty. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> what are those things? Weird. Ant spotlight. Is that the Mona Lisa? Some kind of robotic electronic ant thing. Oh, well, we've entered Star Trek or medieval drain pipe. This is where the privy goes to. Popcorn. Or also known as little beige balls dancing around. That sounds really wrong. Well, that's like 3D flying objects, but... Okay. Braid. It's not even braided. It's just a circle. Terrible. Bubble 3D. Oh my god, the little... Oh no, the little purple one was, was eaten up by the red bubble. And subsequently shut out again by it. That was disgusting. Busy spheres. What part of that is a sphere? It's a cloud of dust, vapor, and circuit. Oh, RCA jack, capacitor, wire film resistor, integrated circuit, electrolytic capacitor. That's a transistor there down there. The red one's probably a fuse, a number diode thing, whatever they're called. Audio RCA jack, switch. I think there's a fuse here as well. No, it's a red LED. Green LED, electrolytic capacitor with the markings on the side to show where the negative and positive rails are. That's that's actually a lot of attention to detail here. Is there a fuse? I'm sure there was a fuse model. There we go, there's our little fuse up top. Oh, that's probably only rated for about one amp because it's a glass fuse. If it's a 13 amp fuse, it'd probably say the colour fire. That is pretty much just someone lighting magnesium on fire. Cosmos. Hello George, welcome to the stream as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what Cosmos even is supposed to be. Cube storm. That is a storm of angry cubes flying around, that is correct. Cyclone. Twister. Sucking up stuff. Deco. That's just fancy shapes. Distort. That is just an image with swirly things flying around. Endgame. Oh, come on! I thought it was going to be some kind of secret endgame hacks, or endgame spoilers, but obviously not. It's it's just a giant 3D chessboard with missing textures. <laughs> engine. It's an engine. What engine it's from, I don't know. Ford Granada? Volvo 240? Something. It's, 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 a, it's a combustion engine. It's not a rotary engine, so it's... um. Looks petrol to me. I think diesel engines looked slightly different to that, so there'd probably be some kind of estate or hatchback uh, engine. Well, that's causing the system to lag out and my computer overheats. So let's get off that one. F spot photos. Oh, that one's just completely broken. That one just doesn't work. Fiber lamp. I think that. Oh, I remember that one. That was back when I had a been to. No, I think I had 610 as my first version of Ubuntu. This is it. This is me reliving childhood. That's cool. And then we've got 
But yeah, the fibre lamp, that was that, 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 that was classic. Field lines. Lines. Flip flop. Wow, well, look at all those little blocks flipping around, flipping and flopping. Flip screen 3D. That is my desktop wallpaper, that is correct. Floating feet. That's the gnome logo. Flocks. Meow. Wow, look at that, that was fast. Flurry. <gasps> oh, the st stealing Macintosh wallpapers. That's supposed to be on Apple, that's supposed to be on Mac OS X. They've stolen it. They've stolen the flurry. Flux. That's not the kind of flux I'm aware of. The only flux I know is liquid and you squirt it on circuit boards. <laughs> Nerd joke. Flying to... <laughs> it's Darth Vader's army of flying toasters right there. Oh my god. I'm having that. I'm having that as a screensaver. We'll come back to that. Set that as a... Fuzzy Flakes. That's also quite original. I think I remember having that at one point. G-Flux. That is trippy. G blur. Don't want to know what that's supposed to be. G knots. Lovely. GL matrix. Oh yes. That one, that one's nice as well. I don't know if I should have flying toasters or matrix. I'm gonna let chat decide. Do you want uh, flying toasters or matrix? I'm not gonna say spam one in chat for anything. Just just type matrix or flying toasters. Then I'll when you want. Slideshow. Yeah, so if I want to flex what version of Ubuntu I'm, I'm, I'm flocking when I'm going to the bathroom, I can just leave that on screen. Everyone will be like, why does that weeb have blimmin' Ubuntu? Because I can. Galaxy, which is really just exploding particle physics, which is running incredibly well on this simulated system. Probably because it's a Core i3. Toasters, okay, we have a vote for toasters. Uh, anyone else up voting for toasters or Matrix? Make it, make your mind up. Whilst I f finish off the rest of these gears, that looks pretty cool. But I'll shove that on another Ubuntu machine. I've got six zero six in the cupboard. Snow. Why does it say snow in the top corner where it clearly says GL snake? That's not even a snake. I've never seen a snake do that before in my life. Glidoscope. That is just creepy, I don't like that. Helios. Of course it's hell, look at that, it's unleashing havoc on my GPU, it's overheating again. Huffo's smoke. Who the hell is Huffo? Is he another, is he another unknown blimmin... Yes, I'm pretty sure I'm... What was that one? That blue Toshiba, not the one with the snapped hinge, the other blue Toshiba that I mistook as an alien wear, that would probably run Ubuntu 7. What does my shuttle run? It runs Ubuntu 7, yes. Try, try, yeah, try Ubuntu 7 on that one. That one might run pretty fast, even though I think that one's a Pentium 4. It's thick enough to house a Pentium 4. I haven't got any laptops. Oh, no, yes, I do. I do. I have the Iridium Starbook. That's got a Pentium 4 in it. Huffo's Tunnel. Is Huffo a dragon? I think this is where I am falling to my death in Huffo's uh, large intestines. Yes. Hyperspace. That's not hyperspace. Hyperspace would be like... Mm. Driving in a blizzard, as I like to say. Oh my god, how many wallpapers does this have? If I'm going to spend the rest of this video just looking at wallpapers, that is really... You know, hyperspace is really CPU intensive. That slowed the system right down. Jigglypuff. That is a weird squidgy ball thing. Lattice. We're in the technology world. I like that, but it's really CPU intensive, so, oh yeah, it is really lagging out. Lava lights. That's cool, but again, slow. Matrix view. Remember, the votes for Matrix and Toasters is running low. We have one vote for Toasters and zero for Matrix, so make your mind up. Metaballs, which is really, is, is this just like a chemical reaction happening in real time? That looks pre-recorded. It doesn't look simulated at all. That that looks mostly 
simulated mirror blob. No, it, it, it's just a bulge. Yeah, it's just a bulge. It's, it's, it's not a mirror in any way. Mobius. Mario Kart for weird robotic ants. Hmm. Molecule. Is this a red? Does it generate a random molecule every time? Let's see. It does. That's cool. You can have a little chemical formula. Hmm. I don't think I've seen this shape anymore. Nah, it's probably not really. It's probably their original. It's probably definitely not copyrighted at all. Definitely not copyrighted. Penrose. Okay. Pictures folder. Again, broken. Pipes. Again, this is definitely their original work. I, I can't see any kind of other tech company that makes an operating system would dare copy this masterpiece. Honestly, this is definitely Ubuntu original. Definitely. Planetary gears. That looks like something I'd find in a drill. Maybe I should tear my drill apart. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, because if the gears fall out, I'm, I'm done. I don't know how to put a drill's mechanical parts back together. But yeah, that looks like a, dro a drill's rotary bit that turns the big bit that spins the spindle. Now, I think that's inside a drill. Plasma. Super gay rainbow for an explosion time. I'm gonna. Oh, can you rename <laughs> screensavers? Polyhydria. The great dodecahemadodecarion. Small di trigonal dodecachronic hexaconta. What? Pulsar. Double pulsar. Ugh, gnarly. But I've, Im I've immunalized all of my Windows XP computers against WannaCry, so nobody needs to panic. Queens. So it's a chessboard, which has textures this time, with a bunch of queens on it. Are they having a queen discussion about queen things? Like... Or are they going to beat each other up? I don't want to know. Regular 4D polytopes, that's again CPU intensive. Ripples. It's raining. Next, shade bobs. What the hell's shade bobs? I don't even know what the hell that's even supposed to be. It's just, what? Never mind. Moving on. Serpinski 3D. Does anybody even know what that even is? It, Illuminati confirmed. What? Okay, my phone is tapping stuff by itself. We don't want that. Skyrocket. Don't want to accidentally ban people just by my phone being annoying. Skyrocket. Oh, that's just 3D fireworks. That again is quite CPU intensive, so we're going to move on. Slide screen. Oh no, I hate these puzzles, they're so annoying. Solar winds. Mm -hmm. I'm having a rave. Sonar. <laughs> I can trick my friends to say oh, I'm working as the military. What are those little blips? Are those. I wonder, I wonder if that radar detects network equipment, because I remember it does on Linux Mint. On Linux Mint it will show the IP address and the system name of all the computers on your network, well, any device. The Wii, if you have a Nintendo Wii on, PlayStation, Xbox, TV, any kind of laptop or desktop, that'll all show up. Spheromonix. Gyroscope? Just looks like a gyroscope. Spherograph X. That's also quite CPU intensive. Stone of you. Um, um, yeah, that's, I think that would be the last thing I'd expect to see when stoned. Flying cubes. Sun Dancer 2. That is running awfully slow. That is very intensive. Super Quadrix. This is another morphing 3D flying objects ripoff that Microsoft never had. Swirl. Oh, it's a system drawing out coarse lines and fine lines. That's what it's doing. That's quite nice. 
Xylap again, that's just trippy. Pop spheres and no pop squares. Oh, I think I think this is the last one. Yes it is, this is the last one. Right, checking back. We only have one vote for toasters, so let's go back. Flying toasters it is. Congratulations. Okay, let's have a look at some other system preferences I can play around with. Windows. I can change the windows? Uh, uh, uh. I think it's under themes. Preferences. Theme. High contrast, high contrast, large print, human, industrial tango, legacy human. I thought 606 was the first version of Ubuntu. I have clearly been lied to. Mist, outdoors, resilience, and silicon. Hmm. I don't know if I. I, I like Crux. Ooh, ooh yes, I like this. I like that a lot. It looks kind of ugly, but whatever. <laughs> That's my computer. Archive manager, games. Oh, we do have games on here. Oh, we can add remove programs as well. Oh, that's amazing. Do we have? We probably do have internet connectivity because I set it up. I set it up earlier, so we obviously should. Loading system tools. List of available applications is out of date. Oh well. Acid rip calculator. Democ Whoa, look at all this free stuff. GFAX, Noom, GSAN, Griffin. I don't know any good Linux games or applications or fun things we can try out. There's VLC, I just saw. What have you got in the education market? Life Simulator. A gave. Blender. Alright, that's quite exciting. Office. AB Word. Space Simulator. That would probably be far too CPU intensive. Bluefish Creator. Amarok. System tools, those aren't really that exciting. Games, abuse. Yeah, that sounds like a game. <laughs> Popularity, one star. I'm not surprised. Acel Riot Patience. That's got a four star rating. That's quite a good game. Atax. Blackjack. Full Cell. These are all just boring games. Castroids is a space game. Tetris, Mines, Monkey, Robots, Super Tux Cart. I'm not surprised that isn't rated any higher than one star. Install community maintain software? Yes, please. Oh, God. I have to do this, don't I? Yep. <sighs> I swear I have an internet connection on this computer should. Well, if, if if we can't get it to download, I guess I'll just end it here, because there's no point. Either that, or it's just taking a horrendously long time to try and find stuff. Looks like it's hung on something. View is still fully responsive. I guess while we wait for this, we can go to about Ubuntu. Just so you can know some system specs. Oh, well, the computer is buffering. Oh. This is Edgy Eft. Released in October 2006. have a look at some system tools. If 
for a sec, because I need to figure out if I actually have a working internet connection. Okay, uh, link up ethernet adapter, one and two, one, six, eight, 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 eight. One and two to one six eight dot zero dot two five five. That is probably the IP of the computer I'm running it off of. Yeah, so we have an internet connection. So it's ping. Oh, ping isn't a command. Maybe without capital letter. Ping. Here we go. Yep, it works fine. So we do have an internet connection, it's just a uh, super tux car. It's probably an intensive game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cancel that, that's going to take forever. And uh, why was that? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, I don't want to install community maintain software. Change my mind. I don't want to do that anymore. There's not really that much now. I can't really download anything because it's just going to do the same thing. Well, uh, let's see what wallpapers we got before we finish this off. Dawn ever been to Simple been to Smooth Chocolate? Mm. Ooh, that's a nice rich brown colour, and that also means I need to tilt the screen forward because I can't see anything. That's a nice rich brown colour, I like that. Uh, yeah, so that's really all the wallpaper that it, it has to offer. Uh, master volume's at 80%, we're going to turn that up to the max because I don't give a damn. Can't, I can't go up the top anymore. There we go, I can now. Is that it? Clock is correct. Evolution Mail, Firefox Browser, change email. Uh, it's not really that much, it's just, this is what you get, I suppose, with installing Ubuntu, just the same with Windows, you get all the stock applications you download, or uh, use disks on newer installations, so I suppose this is it, this is the end. <laughs> yeah, the startup sound is a bit too high pitched for my liking, maybe we we'll have to try it through headphones one day and see if it still makes the same sound. So yeah, that's, that's a Bintu 6.10 in all of its glory. What do you want, fly? Go away. Go away. Right, uh, while we're at it, I guess we could just look at some other bits. I mean... This is technically now becoming an all-in-one stream, I was really just going to stream installing Ubuntu and whatnot, but let's, let's instead, let's have a look at another one, this is um, this is basically a virtualized Samsung Q1 which is basically like a really old multimedia tablet, UMPC back in the day Probably take the CD out of the drive. Uh, that's something I haven't done yet. Um, what is it doing? There we go. XP. We all have a little bit of XP on our hands. So yeah, there's a virtualized Samsung Q1, which is basically just a UMPC, which sucked back in the day. The gadgets show, which is defunct now. I don't, I don't think the gadget show is still being aired. I'm not sure. They did a review on this Q1 and apparently it sucked. The UX wasn't that much better but apparently the Panasonic Let's Note was the best because it, it, it's just a laptop. It's not even a tablet. It sucked. I don't like the Let's Note personally. I prefer the Q1 because it comes with this lovely USB keyboard which is an absolute treat to type on. 
Ignore all these other usernames, I just made these for the sheer fun of it, because I'm bored. Could not run the program as it's not the BIOS for battery management, because it's not the BIOS for anything. This is a fully virtualized uh, Windows pen PC thing. It's not really, oh god, it's really jittery. There's not a lot I can honestly do with this. It comes with McCarthy and whatnot. Ooh! <laughs> uh, touch kit. AV station premium. Does that even work? Let's try it out. <laughs> New updates from Java. Seriously, man? This is the least of your worries. Oh, I forgot how annoying it is. Is that all it is? It's just, it's just a souped up Windows Media Player. That's all it is. I don't have any music. Oh, I do, but I, it's copyrighted. Do I have any? No, yeah, I have one disc that's full of copyrighted music and another one that's full of. Uh, I think it's got some. What's his face? No, I don't. No, I've misplaced that disc. No, I haven't got any CDs. I've only got copyrighted music CDs, and I can't really play them on stream, so uh, you're out of luck with that. Yep, that, that's the Samsung Key 1. Go to the control panel. This sadly doesn't have the OEM uh, info for the Samsung. But I think that's all universal anyways. Yeah. Yeah, the Samsung logo will just come up here. Just say manufactured and supported by Samsung Electronics. So yeah, that is Windows XP Tablet Edition for the Samsung Key One that I have virtualized. Although I need to activate it, it does say on the telescreen. It comes with this built-in keyboard that I can press buttons and do whatnot with, but it doesn't work, so I don't bother. Oh, hello, David. Welcome to what really is technically the end of the stream. I honestly don't know what I'm going to be doing now. I don't know what I want to do. What should I do? I don't know what I should do. Because this is kind of getting off to uh, topic now, because I'm talking about uh, Ubuntu Server, that's that's more of a personal project, I don't really want to show that on camera, because that's got quite a few personal things on it. Uh, Ubuntu 666.9 I think maybe I'll do another one of just going through all my virtual machines. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, but for now, I suppose this is the end, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the installing. It says, please check video resolution. Since when did I have to do that? That's BS. Ah, oh, classics, welcome to the stream, hello. Actually, since I've got more viewers, how are you streaming? I'm using OBS, David. Uh, yeah, actually, since there's more people, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on then. We'll have a look at what else I have in my virtual machines um, box. Where is virtual box? Let's open that back up. Let's have a look at what amazing virtual machines I have, starting off with React OS. React OS, also known as the most buggiest Windows ripoff ever known to man. I hate it. And, in all seriousness, I really don't like using it, because it just doesn't work. If you want to install it on a HP machine, forget it. If you want to install it on anything with proprietary drivers, forget it. It just won't work. And I hate it. I really do. I flipping hate this thing. I don't even know why I even still have a blooming virtual machine of it, because it's a piece of garbage. I think I'll have a poll in chat. Should I delete React OS? Should I read? Should I delete React OS? Install driver automatic. This is what I'm talking about. Installing driver. No, no. Go away. Go away. No one cares about your stupid driver installations. Go away. I'm done. I, I, I just no. No. How am I doing on YouTube? I'm using YouTube Studio. Uh, this. I'm just using YouTube Studio. There's a little thing at the top of the screen. It'll come up saying, um, 
Uh, hang on, let me just demonstrate what that is. Uh, basically, what you do is you just go to your YouTube homepage. Oh, shut up. I should have just random frequently visited links in my bottom thing, should I? No, I should probably not. That was a complete mistake, and I regret doing that. Oh well. Stuff happens. You just have to get used to it. Well, basically, what I was trying to say here is you see this little plus button at the top, which is YouTube Home. You press that button. As soon as the computer catches up, there is the Go Live option. And you select that one. Uh, th that's pretty much it. So going back to uh, VirtualBox, next up is Linspire 5.0. Seems that my stream is getting very laggy, but I'm watching back. I'm very sorry if that is affecting anyone. Uh, but this is Linspire 5.0.11.8. Uh, which, for some reason, won't install through CDs, but the, the ISO image is fine. So you could shove this thing on a virtual machine all day long, but you can't shove it on any physical computer. Yes, VirtualBox, I find, is nice for... stuff. Everyday stuff. Just installing operating systems and playing around with them. VMware, I always found a little bit weird. Or is it just because I use VirtualBox frequently that I've never actually f had issues with VMware or any other virtualization software because I just I just prefer VirtualBox because I've used it all my life. Right, okay, it looks like the lagging issue has sorted out. That's nice. Let's just wait for Linspire to boot up because it's taking forever because it's the worst version of Linux ever. Or as, as everyone calls it, Lindos. Because everyone's like, this is our take on Linux for Windows. All it has is just a built-in wine thing. And nine times out of ten it doesn't even work. So this is a mega flop. This is this is this is topping Windows Millennium Edition territory right here. Oh no, I forgot this thing has like a massive screen resolution and uh, mouse pointer integration. Anywhere to help you fix OBS? It records at one f FPS or one clip every fifteen seconds on our PC. Um, it depends if you're live streaming it or if you're recording it locally. If you're recording it locally, it sounds like a computer can't handle it. Um, if it's jittery whilst live streaming, it's probably your network connections going up and down and up and down and doing all sorts of weird stuff in the background. Either that or you've just got lots of heavy applications running in the background. I mean, this computer is only a Core i3, yet it struggles when it gets hot, which is what it's doing now. It's red hot. Um, but yes, that's those are my points for fixing lag. It's just something's you can't screen record with it. Um, you mean you wish to have the webcam on full screen, David? Like you wish to have because you can adjust. That's what that's where the face cam option came from. Because you re, you can resize video inputs on OBS. So you can resize the face cam so it's a small square in the top corner of the screen, which is what it's showing now. And then you can have your computer desktop stream. Four gigs of RAM, but it can't even run on just internet browser. Yikes! What processor is it? A Via C3? That sounds terrible. It sounds like one of those Asus EPCs, or as I like to call them, the RePCs, because how many EPCs have I got? I've got like four EPCs. <laughs> it's, 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 it's dreadful. I've got one that runs Android, one that runs the. Asus OEM EPC software and the eTab, which is just the Transformer EPC. Uh, oh, on YouTube. I don't know how you screen record on YouTube. <coughs> I'm, I'm new to this anyway. This is my first ever successful stream that I've kept running longer than just a minute. But yeah, this is Linspire. You've got AOL, all your crapware. Supernet. This is clearly some sort of US service. So we'll power that one down. Mm, so OBS appears to be running awfully slow on your computer. It, do, it does sound like your processor is, can't handle it. Mm. I mean, OBS isn't at all lightweight. I think there might be a light one. Oh, it's an old computer. That explains it. Old computers don't really handle OBS. This is from 2012, though, and it still handles. I was gonna say, if you need it, if you need a good 
Lenovo ThinkPad, uh, get a uh, let's look at this one. O three nineteen three T G ThinkPad Edge. I don't know what the actual what Lenovo calls this thing. It might be a Lenovo E series, but something like that. Next up, Pair OS, the iCarly operating system that was made by a fan, which is based off of Ubuntu 10.4. So uh, let's get that one going. Uh, this one also is quite large, so I might have to go into full screen with this one. <gasps> yeah, host key F, do what you have to do. Black screen. Everyone loves a black screen. I know I don't. Mouse point integration. Hey, there we go, pair OS. Wow, that little thingy is going really fast. Far too fast for my comfort. Um. This is going really off topic, but whatever. It's, nothing, nothing ever goes my way. So, uh, yes. Oh, of course, it's, it's struggling to mount some kind of disc. Yes, this is running on Ubuntu. You can probably judge by the mouse pointer. Uh, but Pair OS is, is almost basically a complete carbon copy of Mac OS. Loving the wallpaper. Mm, I'm s no, I'm saying, well, mine is a 2020 HP laptop. It's not with the laptop, it's OBS, and my laptop happily handles it. Okay, I'm not. Pro okay, so it sounds like the computer's not the issue, it does sound like your internet connection. Or something like that. Because I've only ever used OBS twice now. It's never given me any difficulties. Ever. I can't think of anything. It's 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 the only time I've ever had overly laggy video is when I've had powerful applications running on my phone in the background, which have severely slowed it down. But then, as I said, I'm going to be swapping to that Sony camcorder video coming soon, by the way. Uh, when I get the docking station. Also, I'll be getting a new uh, Lenovo ThinkPad to add to the collection. It's a ThinkPad X220, so I'll have another ThinkPad, which I'm actually looking forward to acquiring. Uh, system specs for this machine. That'll load up in a sec. There you go, M380, so that's my CPU I'm running on there. Uh, Intel Core i3 M380, it's 2.53 GHz, it's not bad, but it's not good at the same time. Probably upgrading to an i5. I mean, th this thing can support an i7, but the cooling solution on this thing sucks. But the only reason I use this computer is because it's thick and it's easily repairable. So if the RAM goes, I can replace the RAM. If the hard drive goes, I can replace that. I don't have to buy a whole new computer, unlike Max. Because when Max die, you have to buy a whole new machine. All the modern ones. I've got MacBook Pros from 2010, and those are better, so you can fix them. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to continue because most of these are just broken now. Yeah, most of these OS's, Windows Me is broken, the Windows 7 installation I built for Ty is broken, Tiny 7 doesn't work, Android I don't think worked, Ubuntu I can't run for privacy reasons, uh, Q4 OS, let's do that one. And then we'll do Ubuntu 666.9. No, yeah, let's do let's do a bin too many. Boss. Yeah, so computer's not the best. If you know, honestly, it's it's a tool. I don't I don't usually use it for much more, but it does it does the job. I mean, it's not a proper ThinkPad, but it's got a track knob. It's got the ThinkPad branding. I think it's a ThinkPad. I might get another ThinkPad. Probably. You might want to try playing Eclipse back through some other media player, like Windows Media Player or VLC, and then if your video is corrupted, then uh, you're going to have to re-record it using a new software. Because I have actually 
um, the, with the episode one of Let's Fix It, I have actually attempted to install, well, I've attempted to record video using the internet, because, well, I regret doing that now, because that, oh, that was, that was the cause of all my agony. If you've seen the bloopers video, you would have known I had almost f five months of agony just trying to recover those video files. It was dreadful. I hated every minute of it. You should try to save up for a PC tower because you can put a graphics card in it. I do have a PC tower. I do. But I don't anymore. Well, I did, but it, it died. But I plan to upgrade it and fix it soon. I think I'm going to stop after this one. This is basically just Q4 OS, which is basically just an XP ripoff. Oh, I forgot you can't do system properties through that. I'll try control panel. System administration. No. No, it's not like that. Okay. Well. That's the end of Q4 OS. Uh, I think that's KDE 3, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. But yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is installing Ubuntu 610. Um, hope you all enjoyed, and um, I hope to join you again later with another stream. Uh, thank you all for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll get back to you in the next one. Goodbye everyone.